and I hear this voice. Hello? Oh, sh! I just butt dialed Obama. Hey, GQ, I'm Mark Cuban, and these are my essentials. The way I relax and recover from stress, I have a hoop in my backyard, I go out there and I just get shots up. Every hooper knows the worst feeling ever. A flat mother ball, hate it. So every kid growing up that ever played ball, you've got that pumping hoop, right? Press the button. And this thing just fills and fills and fills. And away you go. and the sound man hates you. I carry multiple phones for a lot of different reasons. Number one, they're on different, different networks. Now on top of that, there's certain apps that run on Android or better on Android that don't run on the iPhone. I live my life on email. I don't sit in front of a computer. I'm gone most of the day, I'm doing whatever. I hate fucking meetings. I don't like to be one giving them. I don't like to be the one sitting them. So. If you want a meeting with me, you better be doing something for me that makes it worth my while. Because otherwise, just send me an email. Who is the most unexpected contact in your phone? I mean, I'd say Shaq, cause Shaq, Shaq, the big fella likes to, you know, talk and call and everything, but that's, you know, you'd expect it cause I'm in the basketball business. Yeah, I got Obama in there. Oh, you wanna hear my Obama story? This phone, it actually didn't happen long ago. So it's in my recents. I got a call from Obama. Cool, talk to him, yeah, da 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 da, thank you, Mr. President, da 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 da. <laughs> and, and so I go to switch back to basketball mode, and I accidentally butt dialed, right? And I hear this voice, hello? I'm like, oh shit, I just butt dialed Obama. And all my, you know, all these guys are going, oh, and then I like hung up and had to text him, sorry, butt dial. That's my last Obama story. Soft, sweet, but not too sweet. 45 calories each. The best part is the story behind Alyssa's and how I got to be an investor. 12 years ago, maybe 10 years ago, I got a cookie in the mail <laughs> and I had a little letter. A guy named Doug, living out of his car or his van or something, really struggling. Protein in the cookie. I'm like, yeah. Open it up, take it out. Holy fuck, these things are good. Wow, what's what's wrong, right? Because good cookie all the checks all the boxes. I pulled the cookie out of the, the plastic, whole cookie fell apart. I'm like, that's the problem. So I go to Doug. Doug, I'm willing to invest, but here's what we need to do. We're gonna turn them into oatmeal bites. And I'm gonna go to a local grocery store and I'm gonna hand out samples. And when we do this and I hand out samples, you'll never have to advertise again. When I bought the Mavs, um, we sucked, right? And we had some great players. And then my first full season, 2001, people started to finally realize we were gonna be good. And this was the first time any national magazine came in and took pictures of us because nobody gave a shit about the Mavericks. And this was from Sports Illustrated. They were gonna come in and this was gonna be the cover shot that was gonna be on Sports Illustrated. Now, those of you who are, are historians of Sports Illustrated cover shots, you know we were never on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> and that was my one reminder from the very first full year when I owned the Mavs that this was gonna be our breakthrough. So there's two really cool things about owning an NBA team. One, I get to go on the court before a game and get shots up. Two, I sit right by the court during a game. At the end of the game, if it's tie, we're down one, down two, and we have the ball, that shot goes up to win the game. It goes up, 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 and down, down, down. When that shot goes through the hoop to win a game, I get to run on the court and dogpile with all the players and not get arrested. There is nothing better about owning a team than being able to run out on the court on a game-winning shot. Lab Series Cool Shaving Cream. My friend Andy 
turn me on. And when you put this on, it's minty and it like just makes your whole face cool. And when you got a razor going on a beard that gets like mine, life changing. I will not use anything else. I hate shaving. I mean, I love with this, but if I had a choice, I wouldn't shave, but I've done the goatee before. I just didn't like it and my wife hated it. So she wins all ties. When I first got contact lenses and probably for the next 15 years, instead of changing the contact lens fluid every time, I was trying to save money, so I would put my contacts in the same contact lens fluid, and I could never figure out why my contact lenses were always dirty. That's how stupid I am. And then one day I was going through, I don't know, whatever website, things, whatever, and here it was, a contact lens cleaner. But watch this. It shakes them up so all the shit gets off your lenses and I can finally see again. I take this with me everywhere I go because I have to do this every single night of my life to clean my lenses. If you wear contact lenses, get yourself a cleaner. These are my babies. These are the love of my life. Jake, Alexis, and Alyssa. I carry these around in my wallet. I also have them set up in my office. I have them in my bag everywhere I go. I got them on my phone, obviously. Any day isn't the right day. Just looking at these makes them the right day. So Jake is always talking crap, like particularly so. I grew up in Pittsburgh. He grew up in Dallas. So we're also always doing battles, Cowboys versus the Steelers. And he's all and he's also into fantasy football. So he is just drilling on me about the Steelers not being as good as the Cowboys this year. So. Give it time, Jake. Alexis is in college right now. And um, she also had one of the best business ideas I've ever heard that we've tried to patent. I asked her what she thought would be the best way to sell products, particularly clothes. She said, Dad, with all this artificial intelligence stuff, it would be better if I go to a page on an e-commerce site and instead of seeing random models modeling clothes and showing their fit, and they just use me as the model using artificial intelligence, augmented reality and all that. And Alyssa, Alyssa's our athlete in the family. She's a great athlete. She gets it from her mom. And she's in rowing, she's being recruited, she's really good. She is literally probably the most focused human I have ever met in my life. When she sets her mind to something, she gets it. I was never real big on the Apple EarPods, right? They weren't very comfortable to me. But then I heard about the nothing ear. Pillows on an ear pad. My playlist just changed 180 degrees about four months ago. So I used to be an ABC guy. ABC is anything but country. And I started listening to this um, song by Connor White, I think it is, um, Creek Will Rise. I'm like, that's gotta be. And I'm like, okay, this shit ain't so bad. So I literally, if you listen to my playlist right now, it's got some classic rock. It's got some classic Tupac and Biggie and all that. It's got some DMX 2000s. It's got some J. Cole, you know, and Drake later stuff. But then you're gonna get a whole line of country. What was I thinking? Dirks Bentley, Creek Will Rise by Connor Smith. Um, the next thing you know, a bunch of Morgan Wallen songs. I'm like, I'm shocking myself. My ABC days are gone and I'm actually listening to country. And if you would have told me that six months ago, I would have laughed at you. <laughs> Did you ever have the hiccups? I hate the mother hiccups. How do you solve the hiccups? Hiccups be gone. It's called the hiccaway. And no lie, it works. Every time I've ever had the hiccups, my wife who gets the hiccups a lot, we keep one of these in the medicine closet it's designed by a doctor who published research about it in the whole nine yards. And you get it and it's like, oh, will this thing work? Who knows? We talked to somebody, it worked. Drink through it like a straw, just like it looks. With water, it works. I promise you, it works. 210 calories for the whole fucking bar. When you have that sweet tooth, Look at this, this is no little bar, like we, we just like cut some corners. No, this is a big ass chocolate bar. Not only is it low net, net carbs, but it is so good. It is so good and it's sweet. 
and it's chocolatey, in this case, peanut buttery. So instead of just like grabbing a Snickers bar or whatever the garbage is I used to eat if I had a, a sweet tooth, now I eat my Gatsby chocolate, and this is my go-to at night before I go to bed. Just break off a square or two. Uh, sweet tooth solved. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.